happening, Meepa journalists? Today is Tuesday, July 28th, 2020, and you're watching Meepa Today. My name is Amelia York. And I'm Jason Lapo, trying to decide which shirt to wear. Eh, I think I'll go with that one. And we are reporting to you from... Sacramento, California. In Midland, Michigan. Wow. You know what, Jason? This cake is absolutely scrumptious. Isn't 10 in the morning a little bit too early to be eating cake? First off, it's 7 a.m. where I am. Second off, it's never too early for cake. Speaking of cake, I hope MIPA workshop director Sarah Beth had a lot of it yesterday, since it was her birthday. Woo woo! Happy belated birthday, Sarah Beth. Oh, sorry. I was just watching one of my favorite journalism-inspired movies. Here, let me get the lights. Thank you for all of your questions at the Issue Seminar last night. An auto-generated transcript, audio recording, and video will be available in the announcement stream on Google Classroom as reference for any workshop assignments that you may have. You may not realize how much your hands touch in a day, but germs certainly do. Wash your hands. Here's a look at some of the MIPA special events coming up the rest of the week. On Thursday, July 30th, we will have compiled all of the MIPA's Got Talent variety show acts into one singular stream and watch them together as part of our MIPA's Got Talent watch party. At 3 p.m. on Friday, July 31st, don't forget, it's the end of the summer workshop. You can join us for a live awards ceremony as we'll be streaming live on MIPA's YouTube page at youtube.com slash user slash MIPA MSU. Make sure to keep working on your plan of action for the MIPA staff challenge. Entries are due July 30th. You can contact Sarah Beth to schedule a meeting if you want to talk about your plan of action before you submit it. Remember, the best plan gets a sweet prize. You can access more information about the MEPA Staff Challenge in the workshop resources in Google Classroom. Do you ever just lay there wondering what would be better? Fighting an army of duck-sized horses or a singular horse-sized duck? Yeah, me neither, but we sent our own Amelia York out to investigate anyways. What is happening guys? Today we're answering the age-old question, would you rather fight an army of duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Can you repeat the question? An army of duck-sized horses. One horse-sized duck. One horse-sized duck versus all the horses. They have little teeth. They can like bite me. Duck. It's like be easier, right? Duck-sized horses because I can stomp on them. I would go with one horse-sized duck because I don't think duck have teeth. One horse-sized duck, duh. Because then you can ride it. Horse-sized duck. And why is that? <laughs> um, actually, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> duck-sized horse. Duck-sized horse. Because you can step on a duck-sized horse. You can't step on a horse-sized duck. Tiny horses. Tiny little horses. What are they gonna do? I say duck-sized horses because they're tiny and cute. Because they're cute, you want to fight those ones? Yeah. That's so messed up. I love it. Horse-sized duck is... Horse-sized duck! <laughs> so I can ride it into the sunset when I defeat them. Dang, that was beautiful. I might actually cry right now. All right, guys, it looks like we have our answer. The horse-sized duck is going down. I'm sorry for all you duck lovers out there. Horse gang, rise up. Today is National Milk Chocolate Day, so don't forget to treat yourself to some sort of chocolatey sweet. In honorance of National Milk Chocolate Day, here's a little joke for you. Why did the donut go to the dentist? To get his chocolate filling.
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'll, I'll just go. Bye, guys. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's only three days left of MIFA Journalism Workshop, so enjoy them while you can. For Amelia York and everybody here at Broadcast Bootcamp, I'm Jason Lapo.